We're getting into the nitty gritty today. You did it in 2023. Yes. No cap. No cap. <laughs> but you know, I see myself scaling tech in a way to the where you know more people that look like me are in it, and I don't know what that looks like, but that though, that's my goal right now. Mm. I've been on my own for a long time as far as entrepreneurship, and it's nothing like having like a secure, you know, six figures. Every man should be making at least six figures a year. Now, before we hop into today's show, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's jump into the video. Yo, so I asked y'all to come on to the show because, man, over the last, I would say about a year, about a year, I've really been big on two things when it comes to my brand, when it comes to people of color. Number one um, is therapy, making sure that we get the proper uh, mental help to help us heal from past trauma and stuff like that, right? Then number two is growing our wealth and growing our um, our legacy. And how we do that is by getting our income up, helping people either start and build a personal brand or get a, a career change. And one of the best things that I see making millionaires right now, as far as a net worth millionaires, that's the tech industry. And so when I found out about y'all's story, I was like, y'all gotta get y'all on the show because a lot of people don't believe that course careers is a game changer uh, my team be telling me, Anthony, they don't believe that these people really be going through course careers and really getting a tech job in, um, in tech sales. I mean, this is, this is crazy. Like, wait, wait, what? So I want to do a sh I want to do a show today on one, you all story and journey, but then two, and break down exactly why and how you got through course careers. Now, uh, who do I want to start first with? Alicia, okay. you started off. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. When did you take course careers? I started in February of this year. 2023? Yes. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this is, this is going to sound too good to be true. <laughs> I thought you did it 2022. No. You, you did it in 2023. Yes. No cap. No cap. <laughs> 2023, yes. you started course careers. Yes. In January, mm -hmm. right, what were you making a year? Oh, um, in January, I was um, on food stamps, and then I was also uh, receiving unemployment because a month after my husband and I purchased our first home, I lost my job. And so um, all of 2022, I was receiving unemployment, and then, you know, things were tight, you know, because we went from two incomes to, you know, less than 50% of my income. And so um, I had to get on food stamps to kind of, you know, relieve some of that stress. Wait, 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 hold the heck up. <laughs> Y'all on food stamps. Yeah. Unemployment. What's what's unemployment in uh, the Maryland area? I forgot. What is that a, a month? What's the most you can get? Um, the most you can get is 430. That's a, a week. week. A week, yes. That's about the same from when I was on uh, unemployment back in 2003 or four. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's four, eight, 16. So $1,600 a month. Yeah. You cannot live in Maryland off of $1,600 no, a month. No, you cannot pay a mortgage with just that. You cannot. You can't. <laughs> so, yeah, we had to um, apply for food stamps because we needed help. And food was getting expensive. Like, eggs were $6. Yes. <laughs> so, we, you know, we needed help. And it wasn't something we wanted to do, but we had to do it, you know. And I didn't feel good going down there to apply, but we needed to do it. So. And do y'all have kids? Yes, we have two. Two kids? We have two, yes. Family of four. Yes, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you hear about Course Careers? Um, actually, through one of your videos. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, then. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Right. When you rock with the fam, the fam take care of the fam. Period. Okay, cool. So you heard about it through uh, mm -hmm. through one of our videos. Because, again, yeah. I'm very big on making sure people who look like us at this um, on this show today, exactly. have access and have the education. Mm -hmm. You got into course careers practically. When you, mm -hmm. when you heard about course careers, when you heard about tech, how did you honestly feel as a black woman? When I heard about tech, um, I mean, honestly, I always equated tech or anything dealing with technology to being hard. Okay. I just assumed that it was going to be hard. I yeah. assumed you needed a degree. I yeah. assumed you needed experience. Yeah. And so, but it was something about the people that you had on your show from Course Careers mm -hmm. that for some reason I could not stop watching. I was in the middle of doing a Daniel fast with my husband and I just felt like this was a sign that I needed to just go down this path. You and was so, fasting. Yeah, we were fasting, my husband and you I. You were seeking the Lord. Yes, we were. We and were, the Lord yes. taught, look at him. He definitely did, God. <laughs> <laughs> he did. 
All right, I like your shirt. God is God. Thank you. Is that God. yours or you buy it from somebody? That's, this is mine. Okay, then. Yes. Okay, then. God <laughs> is got it. So you're on a Daniel fast. You're a little nervous, tech, yeah. hard, difficult. You go through course careers. Mm -hmm. I want to walk through the process with all of you all on this part right here. Uh, but real quick, as we walk through this process, um, January, you was making $1,600 a month plus food stamps. Mm -hmm. Today, what today? what is your... What would you say? Because... we. Yeah, let's, let's put it like this. January, you was, make, you was making $1,600 a month on food stamps. Mm -hmm. From February on, mm -hmm. we are in June. Yes. What would you say you will make from February to December of this year? Oh, I'll be between $100,000 and $125,000. Mm -hmm. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's just in tech. Yes. <laughs> February was just, what, four or five months ago? Mm hmm And in a matter of three, four months. Yes. You went through a course. Yes. Online, mm -hmm. a boot camp, technically. Mm-hmm. Clearly, you seek God. Yes. You busted your rear end, and today... You're making at least eight grand a month. Yes. Minimum. Gross. Minimum, right, exactly. Okay. Just for, from tech. Yeah. For for all the haters. For all for, <laughs> for all the haters who are doubting. Um mm -hmm. I, I want to get to the practical. Alicia, you're making 120, 125. Uh Damon, what are you making? What would you make this year in 2023? Uh just from tech between 95 and 120. 95 and 120. When did you take course careers? I took course careers in November. Got the first job. November of 2022? 2022. Yeah. Got the first job when? Got the first job in uh, January, like January 2nd. January 2nd? Yeah. Well, you said first job. Yeah, so I started off as an SDR and then got a, a higher position as an account executive two months later. Two months later? Yeah. Oh, God. Jordan. <laughs> Um, I started course careers around like uh, September, October 2022. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then within first week, had some job offers, but it's not what I wanted necessarily. And I okay. realized I had to go back okay. uh, into the course because there were some of, the, some of the roles I did want. I realized like, man, I'm not moving past like, you know, the, the first, second interview because usually about three and I had to go back. Why? Because I was trying to move too fast. And, uh, um, and I realized I need to learn the language first just because I have like sales experience. You know, sometimes like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I already have. But no, I had to go back and learn the language so that way I can effectively have a better conversation with them. I don't, you know, speaking people is not an issue for me, but um, you have to know language and see how it could tie in with your past, even if you don't have experience. And that's where mm -hmm. I feel like uh, we feel like we can't do, but we can. We just have to uh, use those numbers that we've done in the past and yeah. show how it connect with tech sales. That's all it is. Are you ready to transform your career in 2023? I want you to consider Bethel School of Technology, the world's only Christian online tech boot camp. With African Americans representing just 7.9% of the tech workforce in the US, it's time to bridge that gap and create more opportunities for everyone in this booming industry. Bethel Tech is committed, and I mean this, they're committed to providing accessible, lucrative, and fulfilling tech careers for all individuals. In their comprehensive nine-month program, you'll master essential skills to kickstart your technology career today. The earning potential is crazy impressive. Indeed reports that software developers in the U.S. earn on average about $103,000 per year. What? Choose from programs like cybersecurity and UI UX design and ignite your tech career with passion and with purpose. Forget about accumulating and racking up debt and invest just nine months to revolutionize the next nine years of your professional life. Embrace your potential with Bethel Tech and achieve your career aspirations today. Hey, visit anthonyoneal.com forward slash Bethel or click the link in today's show notes to register and take the first step towards a bright future in technology. Hey, talking about a bright future, let's get back to today's show. I'm curious, what were you doing before tech? 
Yeah, so prior to tech, I was like in the financial world, uh, okay. insurance, and then uh, you know I did real estate as well on the on the side. Real estate, what I'll do on the side, like with property rentals and things of that nature. So that's okay. what I did prior to that. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, financial space. Mm -hmm. Prior to tech, before losing your job, what were you in, Alicia? Um, client experience, customer service. Customer service. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. 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 So we have customer service. Uh, we have financial space. What were you doing, Demar? I was doing logistics. Logistics. Yeah. So is that like army logistics? No. So I was doing uh with trucking. So trucking. Yeah. So I was dispatching for trucking companies. Wow. And that was stressful, twenty four seven job. And that's yeah. one of the reasons I got into tech because it was just nonstop, and I wanted to be able to make still make six figures, mm. but. A lot less stressful way. You know, yeah, yeah. That kind of. <laughs> were you going into the office every day? Or were you working from home? No, I was working from home already. Okay. So I was already working from home uh, and traveling and stuff like that. But, you know, it's just a nonstop job. So I can't be with my family. You know, I can't go out to eat without expecting, you know, phone calls and wow. breakdowns from different trucks and things like that. So it was just too stressful to like keep up with long term. So the money was good, but it just wasn't worth uh, the stress I was. Dealing so you with. you weren't really happy. Oh, not at all. Not at all. Okay, okay. Alicia, was you happy in customer service? I did customer service. I did bill collecting. I was not happy. I did, uh, I have about 15 years experience. I was, I was burnt out. Burnt out. I was burnt out. And yeah, it was a lot. I knew I wanted to move in a different direction, but I didn't know where. I didn't know when. But it was all I knew. And I knew that I could always land a job because I had so much experience. And, but no, I was not happy. Man, that's yeah. good. What about you, bro? Were you happy? I, I was. I, it was just like I forced myself into finance because, you know, I always wanted to get into tech, but when right. I told teachers, like, hey, software engineer, you got to be good at math, I'm like, all right, well, I'm out of the picture. <laughs> Dang. And I felt like money is where my people lack. And even right. myself, even right. being in the money field, I lack too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I was in it. But after I felt like I was getting support from helping my friends and family and things of that nature, but I felt I still wasn't fulfilled. I felt like it was forced mm. to stay in that field. Man, one of the things I, I've, I've learned is I have a lot of people who follow me. They want the financial freedom. You know, they, they, they want to get out of consumer debt. They want to start investing more. They want to start building wealth. And that's the foundation of my platform is to help people get out of debt and to build wealth um, and to expand more into accomplishing their dreams and their goals. But the biggest hurdle between getting from where we are today uh, to where we desire to go tomorrow, it, it one of those things is their careers. Mm -hmm. They're not happy. They're not elevating. They're, they're stressed. They're coming home and coming home to spouses and probably taking anger out on their spouses when the anger is actually towards their job. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. every single day I get up and go, I have to go do something that I do not enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. And the more and more that I meet people in tech, I'm not hearing that they're loving it, but they're like, yo, I like it enough to where I can yeah. deal with the drama that comes with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you all say, hey, listen, I love it, I like it, or I hate it? I met somebody who said, uh, I don't really <laughs> like it. Mm -hmm. But at least me not liking it, she was making like a quarter million dollars a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she was like, so me not liking it, <laughs> I can get over that. Right. <laughs> exactly. exactly. She was like, I, I mean, it's not, it's not something I want to do for the rest of my life, but right. if, if I got to make a quarter million dollars doing something I may not like, mm -hmm. Compared to doing something for sixty thousand dollars, I do not like. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna choose that quarter million. Sure. Right, yeah, exactly. Sure. But then a lot of people who I meet in the tech space, they're like, "Yo, I may not love it. This is not my forever thing." Mm -hmm. But you know what? I like it. Right. I can I can deal with it. Yeah. I mean, I'm making six figures. I got freedom. I'm working from home. Right. I may not be working eight hours a day every single day. I may work four hours a day. Mm -hmm. You know, I can chill with my family. Uh, and so I'm curious, where are you all at in this tech space? Do you all love it, like it, or not like it? I would say I love the fact that the job that I'm working at currently, that there's no um, no cap to how much I can make mm. as far as with the sales. So I love that because mm. if I want to push myself harder, I know that I can, you know, go past that 125 if I want mm. to. So I love that. It's definitely not something that, you know, just being completely honest and transparent, not something I see myself doing the rest of my life because yeah. I do want to work for myself. That's real, so though. So that's, I'm using this as a tool, as a gateway. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, that's, I love the fact that I can make the money to be able to put towards things that I want to do that I wasn't able to do before, invest, real estate, things like that. So I'm definitely using this as a tool. Mm. Yeah. What about you? 
Me, I, I currently love the company I'm at. Okay. I, yeah, I'm loving the company I'm at. I'm in the travel industry. Okay. So it was like for me to be able to transition into something that I love while being able to make six figures, it was like the perfect, mm. perfect fit for me. You know, so I'm loving the company I'm at. Uh, I don't see myself, you know, working a job for the rest of my life. That's okay. always been me. So that's why I'm positioning myself to do other things as well, you know. But I think it's a, a great way to push yourself into the right direction by having that stable income mm -hmm. and taking it to the next level. Cause I've been on my own for a long mm -hmm. time as far as entrepreneurship and it's nothing like having like a secure, you know, six figures mm -hmm. versus like you may make six figures. You may not, mm -hmm. you know, that secure six figures is definitely going to boost your, you know, side hustle to another level because you know, you got nothing to stress about on the back end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about you, Jeff? Yeah, I would say I, I love it for me is because, you know, I said if I'm going to get in the work field again, it's going to be doing something that's helping people in the company. We're, we're helping the, like, nonprofits or the CRM system. So mm -hmm. helping out the people that, that need it the most, you know, mm -hmm. and that's what I enjoy. And that's if I said I was going to do something, it's going to be something on that end of helping people on another level. So I, I do enjoy I mean, I don't see myself. I, I don't know where it ends, but, you know, I see myself scaling tech in a way to the where you know more people that look like me are in it and i don't know what that looks like but that though that's my goal right now mm. Mm -hmm. so what i hear y'all saying is i found a career path that aligns with the direction that i'm going yeah mm -hmm. exactly you know and the direction that i'm going this is helping me get there yeah. it may not be the end all be all mm -hmm. but hey I, I love what they're doing i love what they're doing uh, this is it's a vehicle for me. It's like yo, so I can rock with this company. Mm -hmm. right. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's 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 address some of these critics. <laughs> What's the very first thing when you when you pay that four hundred and fifty dollars? Actually, you'll get a discount um, if you hit the link in today's show notes. You get a discount like fifty bucks. It's four hundred dollars. It's a boot camp. Um, first question: Is it really only nine weeks long, or how long is it? It's as long as you make it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, some people take forever. Some people, like me, you know, get through as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. For real. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how long did it take you? It took me 14 days. 14 days? Yeah. Yeah. Two weeks? Mm -hmm. How long did it take you? It took me three weeks once I actually focused on it. Three weeks once you actually said, all right, yeah. let me focus. Because I had it for probably two or three weeks and just kind of going over it. Yeah. I'm like, all right, if I want to do this, I need to just go all in. Mm -hmm. Three weeks did it. I Three weeks did it. Yeah, I actually, I didn't even finish the course before I started getting uh, job offers. What? Yeah. <laughs> so I started applying before I actually finished the course because it gives you all the verbiage in the course right. to kind of understand the industry. Okay. And using that verbiage and the language, I was able to start applying for jobs and have offers before I even finished the course. What about you, Joy? So it took me two weeks to finish, but I did have to go back because, like I said, rush. Yeah, you know, you rush. rushing it. Yeah, you know, and that's one thing. You know, you might hear different things, but take whatever time it needs. But don't take too long. At the end of the day, you know, put in the work. Yeah, but you know, but learn. Actually, learn. That's the main thing. Focus on learning the language. That's important. Studies are showing nearly right now, currently in the year 2023, that nearly 70 percent of people live in paycheck to paycheck. When you dive deeper into the study, the study reveals that out of that 70%, a large portion of those are people who make over six figures. These are people who are living paycheck to paycheck because of inflation, because of job loss. But a lot of people say, man, we have an income problem. And here's, here's the truth. We don't really have an income problem. We have a lack of utilizing our gifts and skills problem. You have the skills, you have the talents that God put on the inside of you. And I want to ask you this question. I want you to be very honest. Are you utilizing them correctly? Or are you just going to work, getting that check, coming home, and not really utilizing your gifts and skills to build wealth to pay off debt? Well, listen, I am hosting a free, a 100% free masterclass here with the next few days. And I'm teaching people how to build a personal brand, how to use the gifts and the skills that God put on the inside of you and turn that into an extra thousand to $5,000 a month to go towards paying off debt, to go towards, you know, building an emergency fund, to go towards building a dream home. But I'm going to go even a step further. What if you can use the same principles? I'm going to be teaching for free. You make an extra 1000 to 5000 But what happens if you could turn it into a six-figure income or maybe a seven-figure income within the next couple of years? Well, if you are ready to take control of your money, if you're ready, ready to utilize the gifts and the skills God has given you to build a legacy, to build wealth for yourself, can you meet me? I want you to go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash save my seat. Again, that is anthonyoneal.com forward slash save my seat. Or you can click the link in today's show notes. 
That's 100% free. Come join me. Let me show you. Let me show you how we, my team and I, built a seven-figure brand and how we can put $1,000 in your pocket for the next 30 to 60 days. I'll see you soon. All right. So with, with, with my discount, it's $400. You paid $400. What happens when you make that first payment? What's the next thing? You get an email. You get, a, you get access to the boot camp, and you can start mm -hmm. instantly that day. Yeah, yeah, you can start that very. I started the very next day. The very next day, yeah. and let's let's walk through the course. What exactly are you learning in the course? Are they teaching you um, about tech, or are they teaching you like, hey, here's how you take all of your experiences and create a resume that will help you get attracted by tech companies? Mm -hmm. Like, what exactly are you learning inside of the course? So I think that you kind of learn a little bit of both. So it okay. takes you through like, okay, this is the basics of uh, the tech industry. Okay. And it kind of gives you like the basics of sales and then kind of takes you into a deeper dive and like show you how to cold call, how to, you know, do certain things like step by step. So it's wow. really like, it's really in detail and it really teaches you a lot. But I think the most important is just learning the verbiage and what everything means. Because most people have had jobs like customer service jobs and, and other industries that relate to tech sales in some way. Mm. It shows you how to like use like something that you did. You use the exact same experience and twist it to where it gets you into tech sales. So like in your situation, you mm -hmm. came from customer service. Right. And it taught you how to take the customer service experience mm -hmm. and journey and turn that into um, the tech industry. Yeah, it definitely helped me because I'm used to talking to people, number one, on the phone. Mm -hmm. So that was something that I was already used to. Um, I was learning the verbiage, which is something as far as from the tech side, I was not familiar with. Yeah. So I was able to learn that. I also, le I also love that towards the end of the course, they teach you how to formulate your resume, mm. how to set up your link. LinkedIn, mm. um, which is huge because like a lot of people right now don't understand the power of LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't understand before this, but now I'm like always on LinkedIn. Like it's just addictive, like, you know, yeah. for, from the business side and not just tech, but they teach you how to set up your profile. They teach you what to like put, what are um, employers looking for. And I thought that that was really good because a lot of companies out here will just teach you the basics and then throw you out to the wolves. But mm. I didn't feel like I didn't know where to go once I was done with the program. Man, this is some good information, y'all. Some of y'all are saying, hey, Melissa, where's the link to sign up? You're going to click the link in today's show notes. It's anthonyoneal.com forward slash tech sales. That is anthonyoneal.com forward slash tech sales. It will be in today's show notes. Um, you know, that's, that's actually, I think that's where, I think that's where they think a lot of cap is. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's like, how do you get these jobs in like two weeks? Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because you you started in February. It's June. You already getting paid. Oh yeah, I've been I've been getting paid. Yeah. That's that, that's why she got that red bottom head on. Y'all see? <laughs> Y'all can tell she getting paid. She got that red bottom head on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's like 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 like, and I think the problem is sometimes. When we think things are too good to be true, we want to hate on it rather than doing research first. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there are a lot of things that are too good to be true. Mm -hmm. But I think the reason why we miss out, miss out on blessings and opportunities is because we will not take the, the opportunity to go research and try. Right. Mm -hmm. $400. Mm hmm took you from $1,600 a month to six figures. Yep. Let me break that down for y'all again. <laughs> a $400 investment into your time yeah. for two weeks mm -hmm. took you from $1,600 a month to right around $8,500 a month mm -hmm. in a matter of 30 days. Yep. When you completed the course, so when you went through the course, it, it, ta it teaches you, one, the tech field, to, I guess, how to take whatever field you're in now and how to relate that to the tech industry, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then once it teaches you how to do that, it's going to teach you how to how to operate in the tech field, mm -hmm. yeah. how to do some cold calling, inbound calling, mm -hmm. um, and then the basic of tech sales, mm -hmm. right? Then last, it's not just throwing you to the wolves. It's going to teach you how to do the resume. Right. And mm -hmm. does it even teach you how to talk on the interview? 
Yes, yes. 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 definitely. There's, there's, um, uh, so the course is very popular. I, I use it. This is how I was able to get at least 15 <laughs> job offers. 50, with the, whoa, with the, bro, don't, don't slide the, over that. The, 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 <laughs> don't slide over the, that. The, the, Come on, pause right there. The, right, the, you the, did course careers. You went back twice. Let's be real. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what I'm hearing from you is, hey, while it may take her two weeks, you know what I'm saying? It may take you four weeks. Mm -hmm. The pro, the, the 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 focus is focus mm -hmm. inside of course careers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get everything you need at your pace. Mm -hmm. And if you get everything you need at your pace, you came out with when you went back, 15 job offers. Yeah, in two months. In, in two, two months. months. Mm -hmm. Yes, in two months. That's good. And uh, the main thing was there was a, a, a interview question sheet. It tells you what to say, you know, what questions you could ask on the first round, second round, third round. Mm -hmm. That's all I used. I didn't do anything. I, that's straight from course careers. Mm -hmm. the, <laughs> and they really show you like the LinkedIn stuff because I didn't even have a LinkedIn before. Mm -hmm. Bro, I just right. started a exactly. LinkedIn like two exactly. like two months ago myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I actually paid my my social media person runs that. You know, mm -hmm. and I'm like, dang, it's I, powerful. And I it feel is. bad because I just told her. Just yesterday, I said, hey, don't worry about that no more. <laughs> and you over here talking about, girl, bro, you crazy. That thing I'm powerful. You, it is. You still use it now, even though you got a job. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. because I'm connecting with other people. You, you're still building those connections. And there are a lot of people on there that may lose their job, but they're going to get a job in a good turnaround time because they have those connections that they've built through LinkedIn. So I'm always building connections. Every day, people are in my inbox. I'm reaching out to people. Yeah, I'm always on LinkedIn connecting with people. So I thought <laughs> that LinkedIn was solely and only for mm -hmm. to get a job. No. <laughs> that's that's why I didn't get on it. I'm like, I'm, I've always been employed. I always got money. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I don't even go on LinkedIn. Right, yeah. exactly. But y'all are saying like, nah, it's like... My boy told me, he said, bro, LinkedIn has become the, the, the new Facebook. Like, yeah. everyone is on LinkedIn mm -hmm. chilling. It's mm -hmm. a networking powerhouse. Like, you, if you want to network, you want to be on LinkedIn, period. A professional Instagram. Like, right, you know, yes. A professional, professional yes. Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, that's yes. how I see it. If you combine uh, course crews with LinkedIn and learn mm -hmm. how to use it, let's say you lose your job. You could literally recession-proof yourself mm -hmm. just by having connections yep. um, on there. You know, if you're connecting, you're posting, and, you know, you lose your job, man, you could, somebody could reach out, DM you. And I get DMs all the time for recruiters now that I mm -hmm. pass on to some course career uh, coaching students that we have. So mm -hmm. Same, same. Yep. LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Shoot. Here, here's, here's what I'm hearing. It may be worth just this just to spend that $400 on course careers, just learn the LinkedIn part. <laughs> Sorry, course careers. I know, I know y'all teach more. <laughs> Sorry. But I'm, I'm like, uh, all you get all that inside of the bundle. You know what I'm saying? And like, like that's a lot. Mm -hmm. And I, I could see why some of y'all think that's a scam. Like $400? And I'm coming out making six figures? Like, no, they don't get it twisted. Now, now on the back end, let's be real. Course career is going to get a little bit of something, something off of helping you get into that career. I'm going to be real with you. No, I ain't, ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to mislead you. You know what I'm saying? Um, so really, their position is to help you up front as much as possible so you can be the best candidate so you can get inside of a top-notch career in the tech industry. You got a job within, so when you, did you, I can't remember, Alicia, did you get a job after you finished or before you finished? So I got a job um, 10 days after I finished the course. So in 24 days, that was my entire course career journey from start to landing a position. 24 days. Yes. Landed a six-figure position mm -hmm. from start to finish. Yes. What's your journey? You remember? It probably took me, I finished in December had a job offer the second, uh, January 2nd. January 2nd. Yeah, so. 60 days. Yeah. Wow, what about yours? Um, for me, I would say about 60 days. I started at the end of October, pretty much Halloween. I remember they got Halloween started. Yeah. Uh -huh. And yeah, so about 60 days total. But I, it took me some time because I was picky with, I wasn't taking any role. Was, mm -hmm. so that's another yeah. thing. Yeah. Took, I was very picky. Very picky, because you want to be strategic and make sure that you actually enjoyed the company was going to, mm -hmm. which I think is important. Yeah. Which I think that's very important, because I think a lot of people will run to the first sign of, a, mm -hmm. uh, of money mm -hmm. and a good dollar amount, yep. but it's not, it's not something you see yourself doing long term. 
Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people who bought course careers, didn't do it. They didn't want it bad enough. <laughs> Gotta put in the work. I know a few too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say something's gonna piss some people off. At least you close your ears. <laughs> oh Lord. When I hear men say, men, 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 mm-hmm. say that they can't make six figures, it bothers me. Mm. I'm like, <clears throat> and this, this, is, this is probably gonna get me in trouble when I say this. Shucks. <sighs> I'm not saying if you don't make six figures from your from one job. I'm saying any man who truly desires to be a provider and truly desires to help Mm -hmm. create a space for his family to really rest, Mm -hmm. that man should have a job, that man should have a side business. Mm -hmm. And between a job and a side business, every man should be making at least six figures a year. Every, and, and when I hear men say they cannot do that, I'm not saying that they, they don't want to. When I hear a man say they cannot, I cannot make six figures a year, what I hear respectfully is a lazy man. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. Now, there's a difference from saying I can't mm-hmm. and I don't want to. Right. right. Yeah. Now, if you say I don't want to, cool. Right. You're content with where you are. Right. Mm-hmm. But when you say, I cannot Mm -hmm. make six figures, and then when they give me the response, I'm like, well, why can't you? I'm black. The system wasn't made for me. I'm like, bro, what the hell am I then? (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, what what am I? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, what? 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 I'm sorry, Christian people. I'm sorry. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, what? So, what what advantage do I have? I wasn't raised by no white people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't, my parents never made over six figures. Mm -hmm. Combined, they never made over six figures when we were growing up. I don't know what a six figure family is. Right. You know, my daddy was making like 30 something thousand dollars, except daddy. My mom was making like 40 something thousand Mm dollars on that side of town. My daddy over here, when he served in the army, was making, and when he retired, he was making like 60, $70,000 $70,000 a year. Mm-hmm. I don't know what six figures look like. Mm-hmm. I don't. Right. But it's like in today's day and time, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You can make six figures yeah. mm-hmm. if you really want it. Mm-hmm. Right. If Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that if you're content and, 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 and if you and your spouse are like, hey, you know what? How about you do this, I run this play, and y'all and 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 the play is this is our play for the family. Mm-hmm. That's the best thing to do. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But when I hear men say I can't make six figures, I'm like, bro, I'm in. I'm, I'm meeting men every single day who spent four hundred dollars, mm-hmm. took a course, and now they're making six figures. I bet you, I bet you, because you 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 dating. You know what I'm saying? Me and you single. She married. <laughs> I bet you. Because you make over six figures. And and I'm not saying that your girl is all superficial and, and materialistic, mm-hmm. but I guarantee you, one of the things she likes about you is the fact that you do make six figures. Not because you have money, because she sees the work ethic inside of you. Mm-hmm. For sure. She knows that, hey, this man right here, when we get married, he's gonna he's gonna he gonna he gonna come and, and, and do his thing. You know what I'm saying? I know Alicia, and I wanna ask you about this, because I mean this 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 ooh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> this is gonna be good. At one point in time in the beginning of y'all's marriage, your husband was the breadwinner. Yes. But because God moved tremendously in your life, yeah, doing y'all's fast, you are dramatically higher than him currently right now. Yeah, right now. What I love about your husband, and I've never met him, right. is that, you know what I'm saying, is that that you said that y'all two had to talk. Explain that talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like that. <laughs> and I'm just going to be real yeah. and correct me if I'm wrong. You, you ain't just doubling. Like, you you up there. Yeah. How how do you feel as a woman knowing that you are dramatically up there mm-hmm. making more money than your husband? How did that? How did y'all have that conversation? So the conversation happened when after I saw the video, after I saw your video, Course Careers, and I came to him. This is, again, during the fast. Uh-huh. And so I'm like, OK, we're like, I'm like, this is what I want to do. I feel like this is where God is leading me. And we had a conversation because I'm like, I feel like this is going to be the move. Like, this is what 
I feel like God is directing me to do. This is going to be the move for our family. But as far as the financial side, like we discussed, like we wrote everything out. We knew what was coming in. We knew what we needed to be making. And it's not in the sense of like, yes, I do financially make more than him, but it's never in a sense where it's like I'm making him feel less than. Because Ooh. again, he was at one point making triple my income Come on. And taking care of us. So it's, I mean, he's a good man, period, at the end of the day. So he's going to know his worth from me. But I mean, we had that conversation. We're like, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to set our family up to start being in a position where we've never been. Mm. So we're trying to get into the real estate and, mm. you know, um, we've already started building our portfolio. The conversations are just different now, mm. right? Because the money is different. Mm. <laughs> so, mm. you know, we're one at the end of the day. We're going we gonna to be good. So let me ask you this question. It's a hard question. Yeah. We can edit it out if you be like, uh-uh. <laughs> you know what I'm okay, saying? I don't, I, I don't really saying. do too much editing out, but good. you know what I'm yeah. saying? Good. I'll give you this one if you want to edit it out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Good. Do you look down on your husband because he doesn't make money? Oh, no. And I asked that question. Yeah. And I knew he was going to say that. That's why I asked the question. <laughs> but I asked that question because I think there's a lot of ladies mm -hmm. in today's world yeah. who would look down yeah. at their husband if he's not bringing in a weight right. that she's bringing in minimum. Right. And, and I think that's because you have a true relationship with God. Right? Yeah. And it's like I think your yeah. values are more than... You love God more than you love your husband. Of course, I have to. Right. So it's like, what advice would you give to women today who are saying, "No, nah, I can't, I can't, I can't rock with a good man, a good God fearing man"? Because now, let me say this: mm -hmm. in defense of the ladies, I think there is a difference between a good man who is who is complacent mm -hmm. yes. and a good man who has a vision and he's working that vision. Mm -hmm. and he's just not there just yet. Right. Yeah. I don't know if I want my wife to my my daughter to date a good man who's complacent. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna be honest. For me, period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if my daughter comes home and says, "Hey, Dad, husband had a little problem," I'm, I'm I'm trying to rhyme there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If 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 she came home and said, "Hey, my husband," hey, boom, God shifted me. I took this boot camp at Course Careers. Mm -hmm. I'm making a, you know, I'm saying a buck twenty five now. Mm -hmm. My husband's still making like 50, 60, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'd be like, okay, cool, great. Right. But, uh, what about I got to do anything? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, oh, God moved. Right. G God is using this. Oh, boy, see. I'm, <laughs> oh, boy, see. We about to get in trouble. Um, 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 and this is the problem that I have with men. And this is why I respect your husband so much. Mm -hmm. Because your husband knows, your husband knows that it's not really about the money. It's about you are utilizing the gifts and the skills and the talents that God mm -hmm. put on inside of you. Right. And it's coming back to the family. Exactly. As exactly. long as you don't be like, hey, this is my money. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> and if rent is 1000 I'm going to give you 400 and the rest of it is mine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, then that's when we have a problem. Right. But if you're saying, yo, um, 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 I'm your wife. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm your helpmate. Let me help you. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Exactly. What? And that's what it is. Like, my husband does a lot. He's a good man. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I've been with him for as long as I have been. And I feel like when you ask me for the advice part, I feel like a lot of women are just focused on the income or what can you, how can you provide for me? <clears throat> Providing or being provided for is not a bad thing, right? Mm -hmm. That's not a bad thing. But at the same time, is he providing for you in all aspects, mm. right? So for me, he may not be providing financially as much as I am or contributing as much as I am, but at the same time, he's providing for me in other areas that mm. matter. You know what I mean? Mentally, mm. spiritually, like we pray together. He prays over me, I pray over him. One thing about my husband, he's been telling me I'm a boss ever since I met him, mm. right? Even he believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. So because right now financially, I'm in a situation where I'm making more than him, He's still a good man, and he's still the head of our household at the end of the day, period. And your husband sound like he, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if he catch you or surpass you. And it's not, it's not a race. It's not a competition. Exactly, you know exactly. what I'm saying? But he sounds like he's a man of vision. Because if he looked at you and said, hey, I see something in you. Yeah. He's a visionary. And visionaries right. always come up. Oh, yeah. We always rise to the top, mm -hmm. you know? And, and I love that about visionaries. I love that. Mm -hmm. Do y'all think my statement is wrong about black men? Getting the six figures. 
Could you see yourself now making less than six figures as a man? No, honestly, I would say you, you I mean, like you said, if you don't want it, cool. But if it's there, it, it, the opportunities are endless. You know, yeah. we, we make excuses sometimes and this person is against me. This It's because we're focusing on the negative so much. It's like, mm. hey, let me see what's out there. Course careers out there. It's probably people here still don't believe it but you could go on linkedin do the research actually yeah. do the research stop taking things from you know they see from social media this guy has x amount of followers and they think they take their word and don't do research and they yeah. get burned everything else is a scam it's not it's not our fault you didn't do the research right right, right. that's where it comes into play in my <laughs> opinion you have to want it ah uh, man uh, what would you think man i agree with you 100 mm -hmm. i'm i've never been a person that gonna tell myself i can't do anything like mm -hmm. i i come from a rougher background like i'm not the typical tech person you would think of yeah, yeah you know so i feel like i feel like if i could do it anybody can do it like with my background if i can make it anybody can make it until i'm not i'm not like the most professional person or you know right. most button button up person but i feel like if i can make it in tech and get into tech pretty much anybody can get into tech yeah. um if they want it course careers and, and again y'all i want y'all to do the research so we're going to drop the link check it out go do your research jump on linkedin like they said jump on google uh, check it out. Use my link. You get the fifty percent, uh, not fifty percent, fifty dollars off. Boom, great. Uh, but is it hard? Is taking the boot camp? Is it hard? Oh uh, no, it's not hard. You just have to put in the. You got to find the time. Okay, that's the thing. You got to learn how to balance time. That's with anything, with any career. I know some people might be working jobs. All right, they have kids going on. But you got to put that time okay. and actually do it and set goals for yourself. Like, okay, yeah. this week I want to get through three modules, you know, right now. And that's how, you, that's going to help you move forward and just doing it whenever you get the opportunity. You yeah. know, you have to schedule it out, put in the work. You know, it's not not going to be, you're going to have days, you're going to get rejected after you, you have some interviews, you get rejected, you're like, am I doing something wrong? You know, it, it is what it is, but just keep going and actually learn to get better. That's all it takes. And I like how you said, I like the realness. You said, hey, you, you can finish course careers, mm -hmm. and there still may be some people who's it's not a good fit for you. They may yeah. say, hey, listen, no thanks. We're, we're not, yeah. we're not mm -hmm. interested in you at this time. Mm -hmm. But then you'll find other people who are interested in you. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate the realness, y'all. Mm -hmm. Because I think sometimes the reason why some people think it's too good to be true because we're just not real. Like, hey, yeah, I got denied for jobs that I probably wanted, even after taking course careers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But what you're saying is don't give up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I can show you emails all the rejections I've had. <laughs> you, 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 I can show you. There's a lot of rejections that come with some, for some. Yeah. Some people might find something right off the bat. Keep me wrong. Everybody's story is different, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop trying to exactly. compare and all that. You go on it. Whatever your story is, that's your story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we all, all of us on here, we all have had different experiences. So mm -hmm. that's what I would say. V build your own and stop trying to be like this person or that person. Just mm -hmm. focus on you. Man. No, that's yeah. real. Yeah. That's real, man. Even at my level, I've had people deny even coming on my show. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, I got a big show. What you mean you don't come on? Like, they just, they, <laughs> they don't see the value in it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't align with what they want to do. Mm -hmm. right. You know, I've had people look at me and be like, ah, oh, he's not a leader. He's not a thought mm -hmm. leader. Like, wait, what? How am I not? <laughs> Rejection comes with life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? But you still got to push forward. Um, and my thing is this, if you can push forward, you'll land a job. Yeah. Yeah. Without a doubt. You know, you'll, you'll land a career. I won't say a job, a career that pays you well. And all of y'all work from home. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is it true that in a tech space, like some companies give like a lot of PTO or unlimited PTO? Yeah. Yeah. I actually have Which one? PTO. You have unlimited PTO. Yeah. Break that down. What does that mean? Because, you know, my <laughs> my team be asking me for that crap. And I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> what does unlimited PTO mean? So what they say it means is they give you a certain amount of time to where you can take off and not have any type of stipulations or any type of uh, negatives on your, you know, on your time off. So okay. me personally, like, I got time off right now and I just started the company. You know, I get up to, uh, I think, six weeks with no, mm -hmm. six weeks straight with no issues. You know, mm -hmm. once it goes past six weeks, then I'll have to request more but time bro, off. Hold the yeah. heck on. <laughs> you trying to tell me right now that you can call your job, call HR, <laughs> and be like, hey, I need to take the next five weeks off straight, and you will not get a phone call from your job. Yeah. That's what I, I said. I just said. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nope. <laughs> nope. I'm sorry, Neatness Network. Nope. Oh, wow. Unlimited. So it's really not unlimited. It, it's like a lot. 
Yeah, it's a lot. They say unlimited, but it's not truly unlimited. Right. Um, but they give you like as much as you and need. And you still getting a full check. Oh yeah. You mm. still get your check. No issues. And can they say no? Can they can they deny if let's say if you haven't used those six weeks and let's say, hey, you know, I need to take two weeks off. Can they deny those two weeks? At the company I'm at, they don't. The only the only time they would deny is within your first three months. Anything after that, mm-hmm. you open. Wow. Yeah. That's so what if what if everybody was to take the same two weeks off? <laughs> I don't know how they'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> what about your company? Um, we we have uh, a certain amount, but it's so much to where like. Uh, you know, sometimes, like, every company's different so much that I'm not even going to use all that, you know, at some point. But it's good that it's there, and it's never an issue. Hey, you, need to, you know, I need to get on this show or whatever it is, you know, yeah. with yeah. late months. You can. Um, but, you know, that me personally, I prefer that way because I, I feel like, all right, I have a set. Now I know, man, I, I should take these, you know, because mm. some, some of them may have it where it rolls over and yeah. some don't. So you got to you gotta use it at some point. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Um, we have a good amount. We don't okay. have unlimited. We don't okay. have unlimited, but we have a good amount. What I will say is the benefits are the benefits, the benefits are Talk amazing. To me. Yeah, the benefits. So you get um, I forgot what the percent is that they give you, but you get health, vision. They give us um, I think a thousand dollars a month to put towards whatever we want at the beginning. Like when I sign up, they're like, we give you a thousand dollars to put towards whatever benefits you need: vision, dental, health, all of that. So you get to choose like what you want. Choose the plan. They're giving you a thousand dollars to put towards that. So right now, like my vision, dental, that's that's pretty much paid for by them. Mm. And then I pay a small, like literally a small amount, less than $20 a month for my health. And it's like good, good benefits. So wow. it's amazing. Sounds like you're on a high deductible plan. They gave you $1,000. Mm-hmm. And because you're, you and your, is, is your husband on your plan? No, he's not on my plan. He's on his own plan. Yeah. And what about your kids? Because his, his is actually better. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm, and I'm guessing your kids is on his plan. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 so it sounds like because you're on there by yourself, you have a high yielded savings account, which I believe not mm-hmm. a high yielded savings account, a high deductible mm-hmm. insurance policy, especially if it's twenty dollars, yep. which is the best mm-hmm. um, that I tell everybody. If you're healthy, mm-hmm. um, you have to jump on mm-hmm. a high deductible plan because what happens that thousand dollars goes into a HSA. Mm-hmm. Um, and your health savings account, and you can use that towards anything. Mm-hmm. Yep. Man, boy, this, listen here. <laughs> the benefits are good. So the benefits are good in tech. Um, the time off is good in tech. The pay is good in tech. Let's, let's be real. What is one thing that could be challenging in the tech space? Um, honestly, I mean, it's sales, right? Yeah. So closing the deals for me my position I, we're actually closing the deal so you know okay. we're the closer we have to close <clears throat> so i mean that can be challenging right you want to hit a quota you want to make sure that you are on target to hit your quota or above that right because we don't have a cap so if i'm like hey i want to make 150 this year i know i need to get in there and hit the ground running so but sometimes that can be hard because you're in sales right sales is not always going to be easy but i feel like if you have the right if you're with the right company that provides the training yeah. continuous training training right yeah. where you can always learn and continue to grow I feel like you'll be okay but there are times and there are days where it's like man I didn't hit the quota that I wanted to but you got to just come back the next day and you know go harder and go harder yeah. yeah as a woman how do you feel about that with that pressure on you like how do you as a woman as let's be real mm-hmm. as a black woman in mm-hmm. the space where there's only seven percent of black people and then yeah. less than two percent of black women yeah it's only me and one other black woman at my job one other black woman yeah and she's the one that hired me yeah. oh, of course she gonna hire you <laughs> exactly as soon as you got on the interview she was like my sister okay. <laughs> i just need you to answer the questions good <laughs> You didn't even got to be excellent. Just give me the right answers. Right. You got the job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, listen, we're way over time already. Uh, but this is just real good, and I really want to make sure that we give them the practical information that I think that they need. And um, I don't want to hear no excuses. Zero. Zero. Zero, zero. If you're, if you're looking for a career change, if you are looking for um, a way to make some extra, not extra money, to get a pay raise, um, you need to look into course careers because they're going to teach you exactly what you need to do. 
and you heard them here. Like it's a, it's a boot camp. You move at your pace. You move at your discretion. Um, and once you get into the program, you either can move quickly, um, like our sister here, our queen here, or you can move fast. I'm mean, not fast, slow at your own pace. Uh, the key thing is get the information so you can get all the information and then go out there and step into uh, the job market. Uh, but I believe that if you've been questioning it, if you've been doubting it, if you've had some concerns, um, I pray that today's show, today's show, has helped you to understand that the caliber of your future is is determined by the choices that you make today, by the decisions you're going to make today. Don't make a, a decision based off of this sounds too good to be true. I, I want you to make a decision based upon the research you've personally done. I want you to make a decision based upon, hey, you know what? I'm going to try it out. You... We, oh, I'm going to say something. We're going to go. We, we gonna cut it as soon as I say this, CJ, because they're going to come for me. <laughs> Y'all can go out there and spend $400 on a date mm. to impress a woman. You don't even know her last name, brothers. You, you don't know where she comes from. You spend $400 on a daggone date and won't even see her next week. But you can't put $400 into yourself? You can't invest $400 into you to help you make more money? Man, get the heck up out of my show. Unsubscribe from my channel uh, because you a lazy man. You, your priorities are wrong. Your thought process is wrong. You'll never be successful. Don't come to me saying you cannot be successful if you're choosing something else. The caliber of our future, the quality of our future is determined by the choices and the quality of the choices we made today. Y'all made the wrong choice because she wasn't she wasn't high caliber. Anyways, God bless you. We're going to put all of their information in today's show notes. Go check them out. Their stories are amazing. Um, they do coaching on the side. They do real estate on the side, man. They, they'll they help you do a lot of uh, um, a lot of different things um, outside of just getting to the tech field. Um, so we'll drop their information in today's show notes. We will make sure that Course Careers information is in today's show notes. Go check it out, you guys. Um, this is how, if we can build our shovel up if we can make the shovel bigger we can get out of debt quicker when we get out of debt quicker we can invest more when we invest more we get quicker to becoming a net worth millionaire and that is the ultimate goal eliminate debt build wealth so we can have financial freedom to do the things that we desire to do and so sure decision all the information will be in today's show notes we'll see you in the next show peace out